Hello and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. I go for the full mouthful, just Carlin Brothers Box Breakers every time. Do you like the wordiness of it? Yeah, you it is, know. it's glorious. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a good, not good chunky name. It's not too many words. Definitely not. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's easy to it. say. Right, exactly. Right. Rolls right off the tongue. Guys, I am super excited. We are still in the first month of a three-month season, so we're just we're just waiting to see. We're waiting for the pack to fully develop. I know, we so haven't even speak. had, uh, yeah, every, everyone's still getting their first pack. Right now we've got Hannah at the top of the leaderboard with 68 points, followed by Big Steve, who actually does have all three packs, but he's up to 49 points. Yep, and then followed by Annika, Sydney, Karen, Dalton Green, Lockdown, Mateus, Anna, and Sierra Cawthorn to round off the top 10. And as far as the team competition is concerned, once again, the dynasty is back with Team Grass, 111 points, followed by Team Electric. Those are the only two teams Teams that have ever won the competition. And they're in, in the first past. and second. Yeah, first and second, followed by Team Water with 72, and Team Fire absolutely, unequivocally looking for points today. They are. They need to be on the board. You know what I'm saying? I see, I know what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Without any further ado, let's roll that intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier, and you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards, and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four, plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points, times two for the energy, and your final score is 12. And now, as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, would you do the honors? I, well, I can tell you that people are hoping for eyeball energy today because two of our randomly chosen common chase cards are of the eyeball variety. We've got Screamtail, Drillbur, and Cutie Fly. So let's see if we can deliver. What we got? Here it is. Oh, it's so close. Oh, it's gonna be electric energy, booyah. And then, all right, Ben, are you ready for today's first contestant? I am so ready, I can't even stand it. It is going to be Data Rage of the Mob Squad. Whoops, back to stuff, you dropped Ethan's special lucky pack. So Ethan's special, oh man. We're so far from the ground. I know these chairs are not good for reaching the ground. There we go. All right, Data Rage, pack number one. Here we go. Coming off of some uh, slow seasons, it has to be said, at six points and four points in seasons nine and 10. So we're just waiting for, for Data Rage to really like find find the footing again. Exactly. All right, here we go. We've got Relore, Pony Dot, Chata, Cottony, Full Metal Loud, Golurk, Shaman, Nuzleaf, the Chata for the critical hit Ooh, on the Wug Trio. And it is a full art Wug Trio, so it could be worth a little bit of extra points here. Let's see. Let's see. Not the, not the worst, not the worst pull ever. Let's see. Let's see. Number 190 on the set, although still not, still not the value punch. Or maybe exactly what you'd expect out of a Wog Trio, but it's going to come out $1.12. We'll round up to two. Two times four is going to be four points there for a Data Rage, even with the critical hit. Not a single man. That would have been great to get any electric cards to help her out, but unfortunately could not find one. But not a bad full art. Not a bad full not art. Not a bad full art. still got the full art. Yeah. yeah Put it in your portfolio. Right, exactly. All right, next up we've got 0412 playing for Team Fire, who again desperately needs points. We, we, 0412, well, not really. 0412. The the team fire, I think, in particular, is is in dire need of, of finding Oh, some electric energy. There you go. We got, we got something going for us. The Duosian, the Haunter, the Pikachu, Pikachu. the Ghastly, the Latias. Latias? Latias. Latias. Ancient Booster, uh, Iron Treads, the Roselia will not score, the Salvatore will not score, and the Fluttermain will. Fluttermain. Oh no, no, this looks like it's just going to be a four point pack just as a, well. But we got at least two back to back. So for Team Water, Team Fire, both of whom are in that bottom position, at least they're, they're coming out. They're, they're right in lead. They're hitting with one the multipliers, another. they're just not hitting big cards. Precisely, precisely. Thing. All right, next up we've got Fluffy Duck. The fluffiest. The fluffiest duck you ever saw. 
No doubt. I really do like ducks when they're fluffy, when they're very small, and they yeah. got, like it almost looks like fur instead of feathers. Instead of feathers. There we go. We got a raucous pummeling there for fluffy duck. Carvana, Ekans, Turtwig, Cucciana, Codebreaker, the Vicar Bowl will score, the Great Tusk, the Roly Coley, the Berloom, and the Coridon, which is dragon, not, not electric. electric. Yep. But yeah, so just two points just there. Just two points there for the fluff duck. Almost, almost on the board. Well, I mean, obviously you're on the board. But. On the board, just not as not as on the board as, as one could be capable of being when exactly. it comes to boards. Exactly. All right, next up we have got Witch Storm. Yeah, Witch Storm, right? Up next we got Witch Storm. We got Witch Storm. From Team Fire. <laughs> Witch Storm is it? Which, it's that storm. It's this Witch Storm. This Witch Storm. Hurricane, probably. Now, can you imagine a well from Team Fire? Like, can you imagine a, a fire hurricane? That, that sounds, would be pretty bad, like sounds, a flaming inferno. Yeah, it's just down raining terrifying. from the sky. We got the Dunsparce, everywhere. the Snom, the Mudbray, the Mincino, the Colossal, the Perilli, per Perilous. Perilous. Oh wow, wow. Okay, that one seems much more obvious now that I know. <laughs> yeah, uh, my I thought brain, it was a made-up word. I thought it was a made-up word, and then I was like, oh, Perilous. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Eerie, uh, Ribombi does not score. The Chinchino will not score, and the Iron Valley. Yeah. And so, well, just a man, single point. Just a single point there for Witch Storm. And how many uh, cents are we got on here? Let's see. Num for number Iron 80 Valley? on the set. It's going to be worth 14 cents. So a little bit on the low side, but not as low as last season, where 14 was about as low as you could go. Yeah, yeah you can get two, lower. There's a two cent rare card. Is there? There's a really bad one in the set. I forget exactly which one, but let's see. I'm sure we'll find it today. Next up is Trevor. All right, Trevor, for Team Water. Water, water and Fire have come out of the gates with a bunch of packs. Maybe they, they, they obviously sought to like steal some big some big card from the front of the box here. They, they operated under the belief that like, let's charge in right away. Let's try to throw off everybody's right. morale, get something big in the first few packs. That's all we can think they're doing. I know, here we go. We have the Mall Wild, the Delcat, Cat, the Explorer's Guide, it's the Iron Hands will score, the Pine Co. Oh, it's a critical hit. Then the Merrill will not, and the Gouging Fire! There we go! Okay, okay so that's... something to work off of here. But it's a front pager, $1.24 oh, no. for the Gouging Gosh, Fire. Gosh, so two, three. It's just gonna be a six point pack overall for Trevor there. But you know what? Honestly, not bad for the day. That's gonna be our leader for the day. So, you know, we'll, we'll take that. Team Water could, could use a little boost there. Absolutely, absolutely. There you go. All right, next up we have got Anselman. Anselman! Boom. Coming off of a four-point season, and before that, just a one-point season. My goodness, so Anselman hoping to big, pull something a little bit bigger. We're gonna find maybe, out. Maybe bring some glory to, to Team Water here. There we go, we got the LGM. Yeah. There we go, the Sizzlepeed, the Merrill, the Golette, the Buddy, oh, the buddy, 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 buddy Poffin. Poffin. There yeah. we go. The Lycanroc, the Del Caddy, the Yamper will, will score. score. The Hand Trimmer will not, and the Maridon will not. Dragon. Also Dragon, not yeah. Electric. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Is this is, is this one maybe not worth three points? Let's double, Let's double check. check. It's been, normally we record, it, you are correct. Three. Yeah. Yeah. points, so one, wow. two, three, four, five points. Wow, that Buddy Poffin really uh, lifting weight there for Anselman. There you go, that's your best card, Buddy Buddy Poffin. I'm gonna say though, like not, not a bad start to the day. I mean, nothing thrilling yet, but a four, four, two, one, six, five, like those are solid numbers. They are, they're pretty, they're good for like, for what otherwise feels like low numbers. They're pretty high low numbers. High low numbers. Which means hopefully we'll have high high numbers. Precisely. As well. All right, next up we've got Andy. Okay, we gotta keep an eye on Andy because Hannah, Andy's neighbor, right. Sid's younger sister, mm -hmm. currently in first place. Currently in so first place. You could only imagine that, like that, that these two know each other. The you fierce know. rivalry. Right. Oh, oh and here we go. Look, look at that. This. Andy comes out, guns bolting or something. There you go. C dot Totodile, Salvador, Bronzong, Excadrill, the Sizzlepeed, the Senna Scorch, and the Drampa. Oh, Andy cannot capitalize on the type advantage, unfortunately. Dang. Just gonna be a two point pack there on the Drampa. Let's check that Drampa for value. It's gonna, oh, and this one is pretty low. So honestly, not a bad last place contender. Five cents for the Drampa. Well, Just the thing is, it would be good except for the multiplier. Oh, you're which right. Gave them two so it points doesn't even instead matter. of one. So, so two yeah. points instead of one. One. Uh, wow. Using the multiplier to their own disadvantage. Yeah, I hate, hate to see when that, that happens. Uh, it always went last place, too. We could have been right there. Uh, if only, if only. All right, next up we have Stacy. All right, Stacy. Stacy, let's see, looking for something big. Last season was a last place contender. I think they were in our finals tournament. They had that 1.14 cents. There we go. Okay, so we got the got the teardrop energy there, the rock rough, the litten, the shroomish, the lick the unfazant. 
the Scentus Scorch, the Buddy Buddy, Buddy Poffin. Poffin. There's three. The Poochiana. Uh, oh, there's something oh, good. Oh, look at that Charger bug. bug, man, dude, I, I love it. I just love this whole scene right here. This yeah. just seems like it seems like proper glamping. You know, you're sitting outside, you're underneath the starlight, you got yeah. all your stuff going on. Is this the actual Pokemon? That's the Pokemon, yeah. Okay, how's looks like, like a bus? It looks like a bus or like a little like battery pack, and then the um, Macargo there to close things out. But Bam! Let's check. All right, let's see what that Charger Bug is worth, and it'll have an extra point as well because it is electric type. Okay, so number one sixty nine, two dollars fifty two cents, so three. Four. So three, four, plus the Buddy Pope to pop in is going to bring you to seven, and the Macargo will bring you to eight points. Okay, okay. Well, so that's the, the day leader anyway. The day leader. Well done to Stacy. You get that Charger Bug coming your way. That's a pretty card. That's that a pretty card. Very good. Very good. Nicely done. All right, next up we have Jazzy J Truther. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Only fitting that you're opening for this one. It is. All right, let's see if maybe, so Team Grass has started to work their way into the mix a little here. We've had a couple of packs for them now. Right, All right, of a sudden. Yeah. They're like, all right, you guys, you guys cleared out those front packs. Let us, let us big hitter show you how it's done. See, here's the thing though. So normally my favorite player is whoever we're opening for inside of this current moment, but presently Jazzy J over on our podcast, Popcorn Culture, is the one true host. Yeah, He's taking right. it, the title from me. So Jazzy J Truther, I'm sorry. But you're not my current. You're like my second. Uh, they don't. They, they, indeed, they only score a single point. So wow, 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 wow. But let's see what that Maridon is worth. Mm -hmm. What a what a dynamic duo you two are. All I right, know. So we're, we're, doing, we're crushing a Jazzy J Truther. One twenty one. No, I'm, I'm also just kidding with you. Thank you for your patronage. Um, let's see. No, that's going to be twenty five cents. Uh. So in the scheme of last place, that actually could be like a bit on the competitive side. Yeah, it's a little. It's a little too valuable. You have to say. There it is. All right. Well, let's see. Who is Ben pulling for here? Not there Buzzy B. Bruiser. It's uh, Brylev. <laughs> Brylev, my absolute all-time fave, at least in the current moment. Thank you so much for, for your support as well over on Patreon. Completely Patreon-fueled Patreon fueled show that we've got here. Absolutely. This is uh, just a quick note. is the, the arch nemesis of Dylan Clark. Oh. I forget the... Uh, the scenario under which they became heated rivals, but obviously they hate each other at it, this point. It goes without saying. It goes, it goes without, without saying. But, and given that currently I'm opening for Brylith, I'm totally yeah. on their side. Yeah, right, I mean. Moment. But and then, then as soon as- Dylan Clark had it coming. Yeah, right, yeah. right? But, but only for now. And then Dylan Clark, don't worry, I'll have your back when it's your turn. When it's your turn. All right, so we got Dunspar, Snom, Mudbray. Have we not pulled any of the randomly chosen common chase No, cards? we have not. Okay, looking for a Cutie Fi, Drillbur, or Screamtail. Can't believe we haven't seen any. I know. The Mancino, the Future Booster, the Iron, Iron Hands will score. score, the Heavy Baton, the Metagross will not score, the Iron Juggly, Juglius, <laughs> Juglius. <laughs> Juglius, Juglius, and the Roaring Moon to close things out. That so. looks like a two point pack Just if I ever saw one right there. Pack. I don't want to say it's better than what you were able to pull for Jazzy J Truther, but us in Brylev over here, yeah. I feel like, you know, we're, we're crushing Yeah, you have a thing going on there yeah, for two yeah. points. Double the points. Double the points. All right, next up we have Veva. We'll just move right past that. Uh, we have Veva, who's pull, is coming off the past couple seasons. They've been doing okay. They got four, six, six there, so. Coming in for Team Grass as well. You can't, you have to imagine that Veva has kind of got like that team support, you know? It's like, it's like, they know they're gonna win. They know they're going, yeah. They, they come in, they come in confident. Everyone's like kind of afraid of them anyway. Here we go, we've got the eyeball energy, so no advantage. See that, toted it out, Cinchino. Future energy capsule, the Azumarill, the Latias will not score, and the Dunspar, so just a single point on that Dunspar. Man, and that might be, I feel like I remember. Oh, you're right, this might be the low, oh, this might actually be really competitive. This could be extremely competitive, let's see. Oh, it's not not as much, I mean it is, but not as much as I thought, at 14 cents. 14 cents, all right. The Dunspar. Pretty yeah. low there for the Dunspar. The Dunspar, all right, there we go. All right, next up we have got Dom of uh, Fast and the Furious fame. Yes, indeed. I think shares a birthday with Vin Diesel. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shares a birthday with Vin Diesel. Dom has put up big points in the past. They've had 24, 24, 26 point seasons here. So, uh, and those have been on the three point season. So they're they're a player who likes a long game. A long game, a yeah. long game. That makes sense, that makes sense. This is no 10 second race. Exactly. That's a reference. They do kind of have a pink slip though. I, oh, nice, nice, nice. He, Ethan, the editor, if you wouldn't mind pulling that clip from the end of uh, Tokyo Drift, that would be glory. You know this ain't no 10 second race. 
I got nothing but time. All right, so anyway, let's see what we hear. We've got the slug mod, the slosis, the scyther. Scyther, I'll go ahead and yep, sign that go. for yep, you, right, you know, while, the, we're, while the we're here. The skiddy, the iron treads, the boxed order, the rebombi, the slug mod will give oh, us a critical hit. that's a critical hit. hit. we got the sandy shocks, which will not score, and the iron crown. Oh, the iron crown. Okay, that's probably going to be worth some points because this is a really competitive card. The the illustrator version of this card is the, the most valuable thing we can pull in the set, but often that means the base card is still it, worth something. And indeed, it is $8. 86 cents what? for that iron crown, so that will round up to nine times, times two. two. There you go. It's gonna be 18 point pack for Dom. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Off He's... to the races hey. is Dom. And they pulled the uh, the Scyther as well, so it's a great day all around. Right, yeah, truly not not a bad day. You're getting a full art card, a signed card from Jay. Yeah. You know, you got that, you got the, the double slug even, even your reverse hollow is one of the ancient cards, and there's like a special effect that I do on the ancient future cards if they're your reverse hollow. So really good pack all around. Round. Well done. Well, well done, done, Dom. All right, that's going to be good points for Fire, too, which they desperately need. They have 18 points. What's the highest score for Fire already? Let's see here. We're going up on our leaderboard. We got 34 from 34. Sydney. 34, okay. So unfor Sydney is pulling most of the weight for okay, Team Fire. Okay, but after that, it's six. It's so this six. is absolutely putting points on the board for Fire. There we go. So Fire is like, you know what? Don't count us out. Don't count us out. Speaking of which, next up, we have got Below Average Gaming Dad also hey. playing for Fire. Can they get two hits back to back? Talk about a player. This is this is one rival of low skill Rob, but these are these are players I I definitely like. I relate to because I too am a below average gaming dad. Bam. Are yeah? Do you have you gamed with your daughter any yet? Well, it depends. Does this rolling a ball across the room count as gaming? Well, not Cause, no. Because I knew that. Not no. Yeah, not yeah. No. Are you would you say you're below average? Yet? <laughs> well, at the moment I'd say well. <laughs> We're equally below average. Equally below yeah, average. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the Scream Tail. We finally have a scoring uh, chase card. The Zero Ore will the score. The Zero Ore actually scores as well. Iron Valiant will not rock rough. Eerie and the Whimsicott. So something out of nothing there, sort of. Three points there for um, below average gaming dad. There we go. And I would say on the day, that was exactly below average. <laughs> yes. You know what? That was. You're right. That was a little bit below average. But that's okay. That's okay. There you go. Team Fire is still, they've had a good pull today. Play to your strengths, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. At least that. And all right, next up we have Chrisara, whose Chris hands Sara. are probably blades, as a reminder. I think they're, yeah, it goes without saying. So, I mean, it seems like, seems like there just is a Scyther in this it, path, Or right? a Cerule Edge. Or a yes, Cerule Edge. But probably either or both. All right, let's see. We got the Fireball Energy. We got the Rock Ruff, the Litten, the Shroomish, the Lickitung, the Mist oh, Energy. Oh, there might Does, be. Is there anything on that? We're going to double, double check, check that. It. We got the Sandy Shocks, the Behemoth. Yeah, Behemoth. Behem. There we go. The I, Shaman will not score. The Ancient Booster Energy Capsule will not score. And the Feraligator. Oh, the Feraligator. Let me go ahead and just censor that while Ben Oh, that's a good save. Uh, yeah, number 161 on the set. Well, let's, Ben looks up your Mist Energy to see if you have any extra points. You do indeed. Two points for that Mist Energy. All well right, done. So, Job well done. So three points there for Chrysara. Unfortunately, not a Scyther in sight. Not one in sight. That's okay. Maybe next time. So there's next time. There we go. So we got three points for Chrysara. Well done indeed. Yes. All right. Next up, we have got Aureus Khan. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, no, it sounds like an impressive like, warrior. Like, like, like royalty. Yeah. yeah like there's yeah. Like, like, a, like a potential army associated. Right. Of, of yeah. They, they command people for like sure. Many a horses. Many horses, yes. probably. All right. Let's see. Dark teardrop energy. Can we get anything big? Brilliant. Roly Cola. Heat more. Yeah, Yamper. For... Iron Jugulus, Lycanroc, Salvatore, the Ghastly, the, the Bolton, Bolton will, will score, score, and the Relicant will score. So just three points, though. Nothing yeah. else Nothing, nothing else exciting crazy. going just on there. Just sort of hit some type advantage points there. A perfectly below average showing. There you go. At least you have Yamper into Bolton. You know, that's a, that is a, you get a full line. There we go. There we go. It's a, at least, at least we were able to find something redeeming. Yes, we were able to say something nice about your pack. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got Chris. Chris. Chris playing for Team Water, coming off a two-point season and then a four-point season. Uh, so you're looking looking back here, their best season ever was 17. So if they can beat that back from season eight, that would be great. Oh, look at this! Oh, the and lightning the type bolt advantage. And the Electabuzz. And the Electabuzz. Wow, the here Bramlin, we go. Giraffe Egg, Roselia, Future Booster, oh, the, the Iron, Iron Hands, Hands, the Rescue Board, the Colossal will not score. The, the Zero Aura will score, and the Relicanth. Man, this so, has been the most electric pack we've had all day. Electric. So one, two, three, four times two is eight. Eight point pack for water. Well done, Chris. 
Another just uh, way to make something out of nothing there. It really, you get yeah. All those electric cards in there, and just yeah, nothing, no chase cards or anything. It's yeah. an impressive play because there's there's not a ton of electric types in this set. No, so it doesn't like, seem like it. Yeah. yeah. So to get three in one pack on right. the type advantage, not so bad, not so Love bad. To see it. And for someone from Team Water, I mean that's a disadvantage playing into electric's territory. You know. Yeah. Speaking right. of electric, here we go. Playing for Team Electric is Vinyacor. Let's see what he's got for you. Uh, only two. This is only his second pack ever. Oh man. Okay. Yeah. So this once upon a time a rookie, a rookie contender just just last month. Yep. It says they collect Pikachu cards or Pika clone cards. So there is a Pikachu in the set. So we'll see if we can, or is there? I don't yeah, know. there is. I think yeah. we've seen one today. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see if we can pull a Pikachu for you. There's oh, Scyther. Scyther. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Love to see it. Skitty, Rapidash, the, the Bolton, Bolton will score. The Mudsdale, the Totodile, the Buddy Buddy Poffin will score, and the Farafar for it. Frig giraffe. Frig giraffe. Frig giraffe. Right. And you know what? Honestly, the, it'll still just be three points because we don't play into the reverse hollows, but I suspect it's worth actually even slightly more because it's reverse hollow. So yes, I think you're probably right. Those are probably worth at least four point four dollars, but still only gonna get you three points in this game. That's right. And let's look at the frig giraffe. Yes, the uh, 108, just 39 cents on that oh, one. So kind of like fortunately, bulk, so bulky X card. Five point pack though, and uh and a sign scyther coming your way. People didn't know. People didn't know when they signed up that they that they could be walking home with a sign scyther. With a sign I know. I feel bad we weren't doing it earlier. I know, but you know what? Know. Now we can always do it for for forever. Exactly. And if they right. ever have another Firo, another then... Firo card ever, maybe it feels like eventually they'll print one. It feels like they just I had mean, one in one fifty one. It, it goes without saying that like Firo basically is one of the legendary birds. I mean, it yeah, it doesn't not look like a Moltres. I, this is know? like one of those <laughs> theories I've had before where it's like, yeah, I feel like. Uh, Firo looks like Moltres. Uh, uh, Pidgey right. looks like Articuno. Yeah, and then what would the other one be like? The the Dodrio for Zapdos. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. They had like yeah. the same beak. Same beak. Although the three heads is harder to. Maybe it represents the full trio. Maybe that's it. Right. Maybe that's exactly. it. Yeah. 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 But All you're right. right. You're not wrong about it. All right. Who we got next? Next up we have Lady Starlight. Coming off just a one point season, so it'd be hard to do worse than that. It would be hard, but you know, they're not like impossible. Said, maybe they're a last place contender. That's what oh, they're after. The cutie fly. Oh, and the drill burr. And the drill burr. And the relor. And the ponyta. And the sandy shocks. And the, I'm saying and as if this is like, you know, uh, the Rabska, the, the Electivire, Electivire will score. Yeah. Uh, the Unfazant. Un yeah, Unfazant. 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 And then we got the Drampa to close out. There so you go. So one, two, three, four. Four. Making, we haven't seen a whole lot of the chase cards today, but two of them showing up here. There we go. Maybe maybe we've like locked into like this section of like the packing yeah. to where we're going to start seeing more of them. Hopefully. Hopefully. All right, next up we've got Josh. Josh. Josh, who's also a four, just uh, this is their first non-rookie game. Okay, okay. So they had one pack last season as their entry into the game. They had three points. I don't. I haven't marked down that they won rookie of the day, so they must not have won it. Uh, let's see. Here we go. We've got Fireball Energy. We've got Meditite, Turtonator, Hoot Hoot, Bed Beldum, the Sharpedo, Metagross, Roserade, the Bronzong, the Finizen, and the Feraligator. Two. Boy, just one point for pack number two. Let's we'll go ahead and throw a nice little sensor bar on your yeah. Feraligator there. You don't want to offend anybody. It, it does that, add you know? value. That's going to be just eight cents on the Feraligator. Oh my gosh. So just wow. one point, eight cents. One point, eight cents is not, not bad for eighth place contention, though. No, definitely no, no for last place contention. Last place. What did yeah. I say? First? Eighth? Eighth? Eighth place. <laughs> I said eight cents. I got it. Yes. All right. We're all caught up. Everything's good. Next up, we've got Lauren. Lauren. Pulling from your side for Lauren. We've met Lauren wow. before back at RTX. Mm -hmm. Good mm -hmm. times. Good times. Shout out. What's up, Lauren? That event died, unfortunately. It did. It's not coming back. No more rooster teeth. Uh, all right. Let's see here. So we got the raucous pummeling energy there, the Tora Cat, the Grubbin, the Frost Moth, the Knocked Owl, the Palafin, the Scream Tail, the Heavy Baton, the Red Lore will not score. Oh, oh look, look at that look at that looks so nice. That is adorable. That's an original 150, and it's a it's an illustrator art. It seems like it yeah. could come with something there. And then oh, the, the Iron Thorns. Thorns so we got to count those points. too. Yep. Uh, so number 180 is the Lickitung. Well, that is just an adorable Lickitung eating that ice cream up there. Two dollars ninety-four cents. So not a lot of rounding on our favors. So three, 
Six points. Yeah, you six got it. Six points total for Lauren. That's off to a pretty good start. Not so bad indeed. Well those, done to Lauren. Those are the packs you need in the event of like you're up against another big card later. Then it's like, oh yeah, but I got those six points. I got those six points. That's, that's can, exactly it. Like this is yeah. people who are building good foundations to stand on. Exactly. Yeah, that'll come back up later for sure. All right. Next up is uh, Rob Rangoon. Rob Rangoon. Here we go. Let's see. How can I do for Team Water? Can I get some points on the board? They've had two four point seasons back to back. Those are on single pack seasons for our pronunciation guide for rob it has like crab rangoon yeah. underneath and it, i think that there's a possibility that frequently after we open for rob i go home and have chinese food for oh, dinner do you man crab rangoon. i wouldn't hate it, it maybe like, are we saying maybe it's not even rob maybe it's rab rab rab, rab oh rangoon. probably is rab you yeah, know like and i literally was rangoon. just like like crab rangoon and then i said rob. you know what Rangoon's not the one that you would be correcting with like crab rangoon because rangoon's just the same word that's true okay so it's the rab like, rangoon rab here we rab. go we got What's you up, rab Berlum, roller cola heat more the, the yamper. Amper. Iron Jugulus, the Delmise, the Foratris, the Excadrill, and the Scovelin. There we go, the Scovelin. I think the Scovelin's kind of low on I on think value. it is. It's a if I recall, danger. Scovelin was the, the the trading card game community is the term. I sleeved the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> the Amber might be worth more. The trading card community is uh, hesitant to embrace Scovelin in any way, it would seem. What is it worth? Uh, 42 cents. 42 cents, yeah. So one, right. one point, two points for the pack, right? Two points right? on the pack, there we go. All right. Well, either way, you've got it. You got it. Because Scovillain was the winning move last season. It was. I think. I think it was last the big place. thing that, that last place kept running into here. So don't forget that, that energy oh, card. That energy. There. Yeah. Here we go. All right. Next up, we have uh, Rozzy the King. Rozzy the King. Or Rozzy Thacking. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. Hmm. Uh, I think we make Ethan cringe every time we give that those options. <gasps> Sorry, Ethan. Yeah. Our bad. Our I bad. can only assume everyone loves it when we continue to make the same joke about it. <laughs> It's part of the charm of the show. Right, exactly. We got the teardrop energy, we got yeah. the Electabuzz, mm -hmm. the Bramlin, the Giraffe Rig, we got the Roselia, Cypher Maniacs, Code Breaking, the Sawbuck, the Perilous Jungle, <laughs> the Fluttermane <laughs> Will Score. Oh, oh, look at that Iron Leaves! That is epic. That might I think that's is this the second one of these we've pulled? I don't know, but I know we've that's... pulled one personally. And that it is like up there. I think it's the second most valuable card in the set. I believe, I believe it's up there. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh oh. So, do we have a new leader? Let's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So. And for Team Fire? So, okay. So, Team Fire is going to get. This is 51 23. So, Whoa, 52, 52 points. Oh, Ben. Ben. No, no, no. Look at this. There's a critical hit on the Flutter Main. <gasps> No, no way. way! I didn't even see that at all because it's on the rare card. It's on the the rare card at the critical hit off the reverse hollow. That's unbelievable. Okay, wow. Okay, so wait, what was it? Fifty three. Okay, so fifty two points for the Iron League. So 52, 53, 54, 55. It's gonna be a 110 point pack. Oh my gosh. Wow, and Team Fire, I think is on top. What? They came in seriously guns blazing all of a sudden. Did you say 110 points? 110, right? Cause 52, 53, 54, 55 times two. <laughs> Oh my that is gosh. crazy, what a hit. Yes. And on, you, your critical hit is on double rares. That's insane. And that also means just that because it's an ancient card, the reverse hollow has that fun effect on it too. So what a pack. What that's going to be hard indeed. to beat. I know, that's very impressive. Yeah, so if if there was ever any doubt between Thacking and the King, I'm pretty sure it's officially and for always the King. The King, that's Rozzy the King showing up for Team Fire, pulling in the Iron Leaves, which is also just, that's an awesome card, artwork wise and competitive wise. <sighs> 110 points. Well done, and congrats to Team Fire. That's a big pull. God, that's one of our biggest pulls ever, for sure. One of our biggest single packs. All right, maybe not our biggest ever. Ma right? No, because there was a pack we had for a little while there where we, I think we pulled two cards in the same season that were worth 229 points. Yeah, was that, that Alt Lugia? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the Alt, that's hard to beat. It's hard that, to beat. That's hard to beat. But that was just a very valuable card. And the fact that we pulled two of them was absurd. Insane. Yeah. All right, well, there you go. Well done to Rozzy. Uh, next up is Bay Positive. Bay Positive, that's well, you. You know what? Bay Positive, you better, you know, I would try and stay positive. Yeah. I'm trying yeah. Bay Positive because it's unlikely that you're going to beat that pack. It might be unlikely that that pack gets to be all season, but we'll see. You never we'll know. We'll see. You never know. I think, oh, I think, each, I think each episode so far we've seen, we've seen the leader skewed up, so. Yep. The reunion. Oh, there we go. Here we go. And it's going to be on the multiplier. Mm. So you know what, Bay Positive? This is a great pull. 
There we go. There we go. And the Carvana and the Dunce Bar. So let's okay. see the Neo Upper Energy. Fantastic. Well, it's an Ace Spec card. Let's see. So 162. I think it's on the lower end oh, of no. the Ace Specs, though, unfortunately. Um, at least I'm looking up at the Prime Catcher, which we pulled this season, was worth 31 points. Mm. This one, unfortunately. Uh, the Neo Upper Energy is just worth $1.63. No, it's yeah. just two, three times. So it's going to be a six point pack. A six point pack. Either way, positive. still, the, it's good to pull the A specs though. Because the thing is, you can only play one A spec in a deck. That's sort of their gimmick together. So you only need one copy of any of them. There you go. You have all. a full playset. They have a full playset of Neo Upper Energy. Exactly. Bam. All right. Good for you. Next up, we have got Games Bun. Games Gun. All right, Team Electric. Let's see what they can do here. All right, yeah, Team Team Electric and uh, Team Grass now kind of shaking in their boots. I know, they didn't expect Rozzy the King to show up with their 110 point pack today. Right, we got the Shatat, the Cottony, the Carvana, the Ekans, the Ferretris, the Full Metal Lab, the Golurk, the Ooh, Iron, Iron Hands, Hands will cool. score, the Full Metal Lab will not, and the Dunsparce. The Dunsparce, that's just gonna be a two point pack, a looks two like point it. Pack. So is the, is the Iron Hands related to our boy Hariyama? It is, yes, it is the future version of Hariyama, as you can tell, I don't think, Iron Hands has the same. No, no, we gotta know, stick to Hariyama. Hariyama. But in case you're wondering the reason why we say that at the end of every episode, it's because in just about every single rendition of Hariyama ever uh, in card form, it's always this like hand forward thing. And we yeah. always say, bye. And so it's like Hariyama. And then exactly that's the why. backstory. So that's the case, backstory. In case you always wondered. Yes, you can sort of see him doing it here. That's sort of his thing. Big hands. We have yeah, big hands. Anyway. We do. <laughs> Maybe that's like our spirit Pokemon. It's like a character trait. Hariyama! Next up we've got Dragon, the space agency worker. Ah, yes indeed! Yes, coming off of their two-point season here back in season 10. Every single time, I'm always like, we should really reach out to Dragon and figure out what they do at the space agency. I know, right? I'm sure, I'm sure we can get some information there. We've got Grubbin, Toracat, Frostmoth, Electivire will score. Sinchino, Sableye, the Wiglet will not, the Rabska, and the Melmetal. So just a two point pack here. This might be the card that's oh, you're right. as close to nothing as possible. No, I'm just gonna double check. Double think. check, yeah. They got two points, so it's not gonna make a huge difference there. Two cents wow. for the Melmetal. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So that that almost could have been some some excellent last place contenderness. Someone must do it this season. Someone must what? Someone must get the two cent pack. They, they will, they will. For sure that someone's gonna get the two cent back. All right, next up is Sebastian, because if I've learned anything, it's that those rare cards are actually more common. They show up a lot. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, let's see. So we got the Rockus Pummeling Energy there for Sebastian. The or Cutie Sebastian, Fly will yep. score. The oh, Drill yeah. Burr will score. The Relor, the Ponyta, the Enfazant, the Center Scorch, the Palafin, the oh, Ponyta. Critical hit! We'll get a critical hit. There we go. The Relicanth will score. And the oh, Iron Oh, another leaves. Iron Leaf! What the heck wow. is going on? They are okay. everywhere today, but I don't, I doubt. I mean, and another critical hit on Iron Leaves, but just not as big this time. Not as big. So this one's worth $2.27. So okay, three. So three, four, Five, six times two, times two is, is 12. 12. So honestly, not a bad showing for Team Water. It's not. Yeah, that's that's pretty solid. That's that's working towards your pin right there. But God, they, it's going to be hard because get, even just getting over that 110 points. I mean, that's like, look at the team competition right here. Like coming into the day, grass total with was five players, with five players is 111. Right. So Rozzy has put fire in front and it basically has as many points by themselves as all of grass did coming into the day. Right, right, I know. But this is a three pack season, so there's it still is. a lot of time left for things to be shook up. There's no doubt, there's no doubt. So far, I think they've they've scraped together on two big pulls today at least 122 points. You mean Team Fire? Team Fire, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're having a big day. They're team Fire was day. like, we are tired of being at the bottom of the barrel, let's go. We tire, we are Team Fire. Uh, nice. There's a rhyme in there somewhere. There's something we can do something. right now. Yeah. We can do it. I'll, I'll, get, I'll try it again later. All right. Next up, we have Sailor Earth. On that note, growing up, we were living near the infamous tire fire we in, were in Virginia of two of the year two thousand one. Yes, we had we had just moved into our new neighborhood, and there was a giant field of tires that lit and then lit half of our forest on fire. Yeah, you could like see it from our house. The Mist Energy will score the Sauce Buck, the Code Breaking, the Iron Rod. Maybe you saw it on TV. Frost Moth and the Bramble Gas. There we go, so uh, three points. Three point pack there for, for Ur, 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 Sailor Earth. For Sailor Earth. Yeah, you know, no one, everyone, everyone's all like Sailor Moon. There's all these other planets out there. Who's Sailor Earth? I, we found you know? them. We they're found a fan them. of this show. They're a fan of this show. 
Someone has to represent the home planet. And we thank you for that. We do. We do. You know? All right. Next up, we've got Marcos. Marcos. Let's see. They're coming up. They're doing pretty good here recently. They've got 41, 14, and six point seasons. Okay. All 40. very respectable. All right. Let's see here. So we got the Eyeball Energy. We got the Turtwig, the Poochiana, the Wiglet, the Meltan, the Shaman, the Cypher, the Vicavolt. Oh, oh, the Maximum, Maximum Bolt. Bolt. Oh, there we You'll go. Love it. The Heavy Baton will not score, and the Caridon will, but Damn. it's a dragon. So let's see here. Number 154. I want to say um, this is a 15 pointer. You are exactly correct. Damn. Down to the yes. number $14.73. We're mm -hmm. out to 15. 15, 16, 17 points. 17. So Dude, not Marco's bad. really having a good run here recently in their past several seasons here. Very good. And the maximum belt is an awesome pull. Uh, this is exactly the A spec I was looking for. That's why I knew the value because I had to go buy one in person myself. I was going to say, yeah, yeah. Why, why was that top of mind? Did Big Steve also pull one of these? Big Steve pulled this as well. Okay, that was what okay. he pulled in. Then I was like, Freak. of course, Steven pulled the one I Of need. course he did. Of course, but you know, whatever. It's all right. Uh, next up is Heather Lynn. All right, coming in for Team Electric here. Who was it? That was for Team Water, so they probably put some points on the board for Team them. Water is definitely like Marcos. showing up today. Yeah, they have not had a bad day. All right, yeah, because before that they had 12 points on Sebastian, so yeah, they're 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 like being quietly just scoring points down there. Exactly. All right, we have Crocodile, Licky Licky, Carcoal, Great Tusk, Morty's Conviction, Shiftry, the Deerling, the Roserade, and the Caridon. Just the Caridon, number 119. Jeez. Let's take a peek just for yeah, I got some dollars and cents here for last place math. Yeah, 37 cents for the Caridon. More than the Miridon, as it were, I guess. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna throw that over there for you, Heather. Next up, we've got Mbug. Mm, bug. Mm, bug. All right, they have got, they're coming off some slow, uh, well, their single pack seasons have been pretty slow. Two points, one points. But before that, looking back to season seven and eight, 13, 14, and season five was 86. 86 points. I mean, 86 points right now would, would be, would put you in strong contention. You got the lightning uh -oh, bolt. Oh, we energy. have the lightning bolt. We've it, seen it work. The Chitat. The Cottony, the Carvana, the Ekans, the Eerie, the Colossal, the Boxed Order, the Palafin will not score. The, oh, the Scyther, Scyther! And the hey! Scyther Maniacs code breaking! There we go. And look at that. It's a reverse hollow Scyther, too. Lucky you! Lucky you, indeed. Let's check number 198 on the set. Not bad, either. It's been a good box today. Yeah? $10.43. Oh, was that right? So, what, 11, 22 points there? 22. All right. Well, Grass says, don't forget about us just yet. We're putting up numbers, too. For Cypher Maniac's code breaking. All right, man, I feel like the team competition is just getting very tight all of a sudden. It is, it is. It's, yeah. it's so funny because you're always looking at all the varying scores and everything, but like right now, I'm, that's what I'm most invested in. I know. <laughs> Here comes Moss Twig, longtime water player, uh, coming off just a one point season. Let's see what can Moss Twig pull today. Can they score some more points for water? Quietly pooling their resources back there. Ah, pooling. Yeah. Good yeah. water joke. Thank you. Nailed it. All right, Grass, Energy, Duosion. The oh, Pikachu this is the Pikachu. Yeah, there it is. Yep. The Heum, Ancient Booster, uh, Rapidash, Sharpedo, the Mawile. Oh, oh, this is like the box of the Iron Leaf. If you just bought this box for yourself, you'd have gotten three different rarities of this card. That is crazy. That is crazy. And we know they're just showing up. This is the only one not to do the critical hit today. Well, let me double check it. No, okay, we're good. Okay, so this one is a bit lower. So $4.50 really? for that Iron Leaf. I guess so. Rare, it's so. Be a six point pack there for Moss Twig, but not bad, not bad. Not Solid bad. Solid foundation. All. Yes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And for somebody that goes by the name of Moss Twig, I have to imagine an Iron Leaf is, is warmly received. Exactly, yeah. right? Why would it not be? Why would it not be? All right, next up we have Alicia May, AKA Spider Man. Uh, same day as Peter Parker, you know. We all know. We all know. We get it. Well, yeah, Alicia. this is the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aunt May, Alicia May. We, we we're connecting the dots. We you know? we're, we're piecing it all together. Yeah, it's the reality we want. It's like a web. It's like a web. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, because they're web shooter. Because they're web shooter. Oh, we're not supposed to say it. <clears throat> all right, we got the C dot, the Totodile, the Deerling, the Pido, the Great Tusk, the Salvatore, the Bronzong. I mean, nothing went on the Victini, Victini rather, uh, the Riunculus. Will not score in the, the Iron, Iron Valiant. Valiant. Oh, oh man. Really just a, a poor pack there for Yield Spider-Man. Yeah, so that's gonna be 14 cents. So possible last place contender. There we go. We'll see. Enjoy your Iron Valiant though. Bam. 
All right, next up we've got Jacob Wurgenis. Wurgenis! Jacob Wurgenis coming in off two back-to-back -back three point seasons here. For Team Grass, who I feel like grass. is still looking for their hero on the day. Yes, yeah, so let's see what Jacob can do for Grass today. Bam. Both A specs have been pulled though. It feels like, feels like we're averaging two a box. Right, right, yeah. You know, we've out, pulled our out. big illustrator art as well. Who knows, there could be some gold in here, I suppose. The Reuniclus, the Explorer's Guide, the Meditite, the Keldeo, and the Whimsicott. Oh, Man. boy. Virginus is not going to be the hero Grass needed today. No, but possible last place contender with just uh, six cents on that Whimsicott. Wow. So That is a really good bad card. It's a really good bad card. Not a bad position to be in. Almost as bad as it could be. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Next up, we've got Justin H. Justin H. Actually, you know what? It's time. Oh, it's this time. is it? Yeah, this is, this is the pack. Via Ethan, he hand selected it. We're about to find out what's going to happen. It makes no difference. In case well, you're wondering, the well, difference maybe it does. the difference it could make is that if you if you think of a box as only only possessing so many rares, sure, this doesn't fall. This doesn't play by those rules. Sure, yeah, right. It could be yes. anything. It could be anything. Maybe it's another aspect. Maybe it's iron leaves again. So we got we got the we got the metal energy. We got the breathing, the heat mark, the yamper will score, the torque cat, the iron Tread, the, the buddy buddy poffin, the zero aura. aura, the dearling will not score. The Chinchino will not score. Oh, and the Maridon oh, will, but a dragon type dragon, here. Let's yep. see here. So 122 on the set is going to be just 62 cents for uh, that one. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six points. Six points. There we go. Justin H. And then oh, I might need some more sleeves. Oh, we might need some more sleeves. No problem at all. Here you go. Thank you. There you go, Maridon coming to you. All right, Blood Vamp. Blood Vamp! Here we go. What do we got for Blood Vamp? They're coming off of some four and five point seasons here. They have three black cats. The arch rival of uh, Andriana. Andriana. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So uh, as per always, it's on. It is the on, the Elgium. The Sizzlepeed, the Meryl, the Gola, the Bolton will score. Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance, Duosian, Bramble Gast, and the Raging Bolt. Oh, the so Bramble Gast will also score. Oh. Yep. Oh, it's oh, you're rare. right. It actually, yeah. is a rare. Yeah. Good catch. Thanks, thanks. Let's check out that Raging Bolt real quick. Also yeah. a Dragon type, which we're getting a bunch of today. We sure are. Only noticing it because I feel like if you're looking at the screen, you might think it's $1.78. Okay, so that's two, three, four points. Four points, for yeah. For that pack for a Blood Vamp. Take that, Andriana. So all the all the referees out there who are who are checking our work as we go, just want to make yeah. sure that they're like, wait a second, was that electric? Was it's that like, electric? No, no, it was Dragon. It was Dragon. It was yeah. Dragon. I know we don't see many of them. Take it up with They're the Pokemon there. Company. I know. Yep. All right, next up we have uh, Kernak McClagan, rival of skill. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, it, Kernak. Never, it never stops being funny. It doesn't. All right, let's see here. So we got the Eyeball, Energy, one of my all time faves, the Pineco, the Mawile, the Metatite, the Turtonator, the Exadrill, the Scream Tail, the Zero Aura, Chill, the Carcoal will not score. The oh, Reunicus. Look at that Reuniclus. That is Re so. Reuniclus. Reuniclus. <laughs> like I was saying. And the metal metal, which we know is worth almost nothing. But let's check that number 171 on Look the Look at set. this card. I love this Pokemon. This is one of my favorites. It's so, just a big bag of jelly. <laughs> just a big bag of jelly. You're okay, coming at $3.31. Is that so, all? So four, five, six, seven? Seven points. Here we go. All right, seven points on the Reuniclus there. Beautiful card, if nothing else. It there. is a beautiful card. And you can see like the Duosians and the Solosis is floating around there. That one's really fun. Just a bag of jelly. Just a bag, just look at, look at there. Just a little bag of jelly and DNA, basically. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right, next up, it is our final contender of the day. It is Kyle McCoon, who you've always got to keep an eye on because Kyle, when they came in as a rookie, put up 40 points in their first pack. That's telekinesis, you know, Kyle. Yes, yeah, exactly. I'm right. Let me go. Just hold on. I'm going to write that down here. That's telekinesis. I actually saw a like TikTok this past weekend where someone was like, you know what I just realized? There's no famous Kyles. I can't think of any. So if you if I'm missing them, let me know in the comments. And like all the gifts were that Kyle of telekinesis. Oh, from, from Tenacious, <laughs> yeah, from Tenacious D. D. And it was like, how could you forget Kyle? Kyle! That was one of those jokes where I never knew that that Jack Black's bandmate's name was Kyle. And I was like, why is he referencing a guy named Kyle? I know, right? That's telekinesis, Kyle. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, just a quick aside there. Uh, Sableye, the Licky Licky, the Arbok will not score, and the Whimsicott will. So, actually, I don't know why I put this down here. That wasn't a scoring. So, just metal. two points. Just two to points. Close out the day there. There we go. Man, well, you got to say, I mean, 
Rozzy's. Rozzy's. 100. I mean, the thing is, wait, who was, who was otherwise in first place? Uh, let's see. Coming into the day, uh, Hannah was in first place with what's, 68. What's points. crazy is that the multiplier made a big difference because 55 would have been impressive, but it would not have been first place. Yeah, it would have been, yeah, it would have been good for second. It would have been good for second, but the multiplier is so big on this particular pack. I, I, I feel like I'm just going to try to call it. I'm going to try to predict it right now. Not Nothing against Rozzy. I just think that there's that that much left. You think in the box? You think Rozzy will not be the champion? I think there's a chance Rozzy will not be the champion. Oh man! That's, well, I'm calling it now. It's a gut feeling. Gut it's feeling. nothing against Rozzy. It's just I feel like I feel like coming into each week, we're seeing big packs be opened. Yeah. Like I've been really happy with the pull rates we've been getting and yeah. the value. It's a good set pull rate wise. Yes, it is. It is indeed. So I just I just want to lob out my confidence that the rest of the season is just going to be nutter It's butters. going to be, yeah, something, something else big will happen. Yes, yeah, yeah, yep, absolutely. So if you too would like us to open a pack for you, we've actually opened up even more slots to, to make the game available to as many people as humanly possible. You can check it out in the link in the description down below by heading over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of the box breakers tiers. Yes, you can do all of those things. And I thought you were just going to completely close this out, but you didn't. But otherwise, join us next time. Hariyama! Hariyama!